Why? Because the highest accomplishment in fencing is called the no-sword school. To be so good at fencing that you never have to use a sword. And there are all kinds of marvelous tales about great samurai trained in Zen and swordsmanship who never, never had to use a sword. You may have seen a movie called Samurai which comes in three parts, takes you three evenings to see it. And it's the life of Miyamoto Musashi who was one of the greatest swordsmen in all Japanese history. It doesn't follow his life all the way through. It only comes to the point where he had a duel with another champion who insisted on challenging him out of vanity. And how Musashi takes him on, fighting him at first only with uh, an oar that has had the blade chopped off. And, uh, but he maneuvers him into a position on the beach where the rising sun dazzles his opponent. And when his opponent makes a terrific swipe at him, he jumps over the sword, draws his own sword, and kills him instantly. But after that, he is very unhappy that he had to kill such a swordsman. And finally, he takes the advice of the Zen master, Takuan, who has all along been trying to dissuade him from a military career. So sometime later, he was on his way to Kyoto, and this meant that he had to cross Lake Biwa in a ferry boat, a small ferry boat that was rowed. And when he was on board, a, another samurai, who was a very vulgar fellow, who had had too much sake to drink, came aboard and saw Musashi. Ah, he said, ah, what school of swordsmanship do you belong to? Musashi said, no sword school, by this time the boat had started. Ha, <laughs> no sword school. I'd like to see your no sword school. And this drunk drew his sword. And Musashi said, now wait a minute. He said, this is a crowded boat. And if we start a duel, people will get hurt and they're just innocent bystanders. But let's go to that island over there and we can fight it out. So he said to the ferryman, over to that island. And he changed the course of the boat and went to the island. And this drunken swordsman was so eager to get out and fight that he jumped onto the sand and immediately Musashi took the ferryman's oar and pushed the boat back left him there and he said, you see my no sword school.